You know, when you meet people online, you can form bonds, connections. They'll become more than just virtual friends. They become actual friends. People that you care about, people that you worry about, people that matter. I know it because I'm living it. You know, about nine months ago, this young man saw one of my videos and he wrote me and he told me how he, he enjoyed it. And then he wrote, he kept writing and he said, you know, Tim, you're going to be big one day, man. You are fantastic, man. You're going to blow up, Tim. I was like, wow, really? I hope so because I only got 300 subscribers now. I'll just keep going. Um, he's been one of my strongest supporters. And I would notice that he would come in and out. You know, like I, I hear from him, then I wouldn't hear from him for long stretches. Well, one of those stretches happened recently, and I reached out to him like a week ago, maybe two weeks ago, and I was like, where you been, man? What's going on? And he, and he told me. He said, Tim, I have this illness. I have a condition. And it's, it's it really gets me down. I'm very depressed. And honestly, Tim, I'm thinking about ending it all. I'm like, ending it all? What do you mean, suicide? He said, yeah. And of course, I'm taken back. I don't know exactly what to say. I mean, we all have things with our health that we need to be careful of, but I, I can't relate to the condition that this young man has. It's, it may not be terminal, but it is a very debilitating illness. And as my friends described, who I call my nephew, because he's like a nephew to me, um, this illness, this condition, robs him of a lot of the quality of his life. And as I listened to him tell his story, I couldn't just give him the bull, bullshit, you know, responses like, oh man, just hang in there, man. You got to be tough and just, you know, keep your head up, you know, that type of thing, you know, because I truly don't understand. I'm not in his situation, but I couldn't help but be supportive, but tell him those things. I didn't know what else to say. I mean, I want you to reconsider. I don't want you to commit suicide. I don't want you to give up. I don't want you to quit living. And he's like, well, Tim, you know, life is hard. You, you don't know what I'm going through. And he's right. He's right. I don't know what he's going through, but I know I care about him. So then I told him, I said, well, you know what? You're right. You know, I don't know, but you know this? You only had two options. One is you get up every day and you just try to go one more day. Just one more day, one more therapy class, therapy session, one more treatment, one more injection, one more whatever you need to do, and then see how you feel. And another one, you either do that or you let it all go. And he thanked me. He told me he appreciated my concern. Um, he told me I was a true friend. So once again, I hadn't heard from him and another friend reached out to me and he said, hey, I just heard that this young man, this this guy we know, a mutual friend is going through this stuff and he doesn't sound good. I said, you know, I, yeah, I know. But I feel like I've said everything I can say. I've expressed everything I feel like I can express to this young man. How his life is ahead of him. How as long as there's life, there's hope. As long as you keep going, there's an opportunity, there's a chance. I want to tell him that he's worth it. That he is worth another day. That he's worth, that people love him, that people care that he's here, that people care that he wakes up every morning, that he has something to share and that no one's going to judge him for his condition. Because that's part of it. Part of it, he said, was the stigma of his condition that makes him feel like he doesn't fit in with anyone. So I I don't know, folks, but if 
in the comment section, if you could give this young man reasons to go, keep going, that would be great. Hopefully, he'll see this video, if I'm not too late, and he can reconsider. And when he gets down, he can watch this video, and he can read the comments from people like yourselves. Because I'm sure that it's not just about him, it's about all the other people out there who see this video who are going through similar stuff. Who are dealing with similar shit. Who are on the verge and, they're, and they need someone to talk to. And, and maybe they'll be able to pull up this video as well for some encouragement. I, I don't know what else to say. I don't have all the answers, not even half of them, but I have questions. One of my questions is, what if? What if things get better? What if you find a way to manage the depression? What if you find a way to manage the condition? What if you can be some of the things you want to be or all the things you want to be or what if you could be more than you can imagine yourself to be right now what if what if you're wrong about leaving and there's no way to come back to to change that see because if you decide not to commit suicide you could always change your mind, but if you commit suicide, you can't unchange that. It's kind of permanent. Hey, nephew or niece or sister or brother, or whoever you are out there going through this, the number you can call is right here. Call that number. We love you. We want you to live. We support you. Your life matters. And as long as there's life, there's hope. And I hope you make the choice to go on another day.